The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Ninth chapter, text number two through five, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 23rd of November, 1966, in New York, New York. the Bhagavad Gita Ratatmana, one who is engaged in Krishna consciousness, all his reactions of past sinful activities, gradually they become vanquished. There are different stages. Just like I have infected some cholera today, immediately cholera does not take place. After two or three days, the cholera appears. It takes some time. That's like if you sow a seed of a tree, immediately it does not become a tree and delivers its fruit. It takes some time. Therefore, or knowingly or unknowingly, we are doing so many sinful activities. So they are in the seedling state then growing state, then when we suffer, that is called prarabdha. Prarabdha now receive the result. So in this way we are creating, we are sowing some seed that will take its reaction either in this body or another body. It takes time to fructify. If we act in Krishna consciousness, then it is just like fried seed if you sow in a land. It will not fructify. Fried seed. So this fried seed, our activities, can be made a fried seed by the fire of Krishna consciousness. So there will be no reaction. Pratakka vavam dhanmam susikham kaktum abhyam. Susikham very pleasant, Savanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu. This devotional service is not very unpleasant. It is very pleasant. You very melodiously sing with an instrument and somebody will participate in hearing Savanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu. Of course, it must be in relation to the Supreme Lord, not ordinary music. We take the advantage of musical science, but we don't sing any ordinary song. We glorify the Supreme Law, but we enjoy. Therefore, it is happy. Then again, Samanam Kirtanam Vishnu Smaranam. Now, what you are hearing from Bhagavad Gita, if you remember it at home, the Swami is spoken like this. And how does it apply in my life? We should remember this. We should not forget just after leaving this place. And if there is any question, any doubt, we should place before this assembly. I am uh, inviting you for any question because we are trying to understand a very nice and great science. So it should be understood with all critical study. We don't request you to take it and accept it blind. So, Svamanam Kirtanam is Vishnu Smaranam and Padasevanam. Padasevanam means to rise early in the morning, open the door of temple, wipe out all the dust and give some light. It is Padasevanam, Archanam, Bandhanam. Then, there is foodstuff offered, it is cooked for Krishna, and decorated with flowers, so many things there are Archan Vidhi. Vidhi will look very nice, and you will be pleased to see it. We are where we want to see very beautiful things. When you see the beautiful Vidhi, the form from Lord Krishna, you will forget to see any more, any other beauty. You see. These are the process. Very nice. Susukha. There is no trouble. Decorate with flower, with dress, with ornament. 
and see and hear and eat. You offer very nice food star to Krishna and then partake it. Savanam kirtanam vishnu smaranam padasivanam achanam bandhanam. Bandhanam means prayer. Of course, if you do not like, or if you think this is Hindu system, or we want to accept, we are Christian, or like, you go to church, sing there, you have got also songs of Bible, you can sing very nicely. Uh, so, maranam, bandhanam. So there is no difference between this process or that process. Simply, we are teaching that become God conscious. God is neither Hindu nor Muslim nor Christian. He is God. And we are also not Hindu or Muslim or Christian. This is our bodily designation. We are all pure, part and parcel of the Supreme. As God is pure, so we are also pure. So we have fallen in this turmoil of this material ocean, and there is tossing of the waves. So we are suffering. We don't identify the tossing of the waves because I have nothing to do with this tossing. I simply pray, Krishna, please pick me up from this tossing waves. Somewhere or other I am falling here. Ai nanda tanya patitam kinkanam maam vishami bhavam budho kripaya tapa pada pankaja sthitam dhuli sadisam vichintaya. Oh, my dear Krishna, somehow or other I forgot you and I am fallen in this. As soon as I forget Krishna, this uh, maya, illusion, ocean of illusion is there. It at once captures me. That is my position. Krishna has prescribed this devotional service, very nice, you can very happily perform. Susutam tattum abhayam sabhanadike abhashramane tasmin sad vishaye purusattama aham abhidhavami. It is said that Krishna appears when we chant this Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. This sound is non different from Krishna. Therefore, when you vibrate this sound, this means this sound, Krishna and the original Krishna, the same, identical. So you are not only dancing, but Krishna is also dancing with you. If you say, that why do I not see him? Yes, seeing is not. Why do you stay on seeing? Ah, yeah, why not hearing? Seeing, hearing, testing, touching, these are our instruments for experience. That's all. Knowledge. Why you are so much important about seeing? A devotee does not wish to see Krishna. He simply is satisfied simply by hearing of Krishna. And seeing is also experience, so hearing also experience. That I have explained many times. Seeing and hearing. Hearing also something you cannot see. You can hear only. Just like when the air wind passes very violently, you cannot see, but you can hear. But you get the experience. Seeing is not only experience, but hearing is also experience. When you hear the sound of the wind, oh, so, so, you say, oh, today wind is very violently blowing. You can feel. You don't, but you don't see the air. So don't stress on seeing only. There are so many senses to hear. We can perceive the presence of God or Krishna by hearing. By hearing. And He is there present. He is there present. He says, Krishna says that Naham Krishnaam Vaitunthe Yoginam Vidayesha Yatra Gayanti Madhvatta Tatra Krishnamina. He says, I am not actually in my abode, Krishna Loka, neither I am in the heart of the yogis who are meditating. But I am present there where my pure devotees are singing. See, yes, Krishna says that. Mm-hmm. You can feel the presence of Krishna as we make progress in this line. Sutta Vidyapara Matra, Tulsi Patra, Amuchiloka Matra, Upakara. So, and it is very easy also. Archanam. Archanam. Now, Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, that you have to offer something out of your love. Love means you must give something. 
you are taking something from Krishna, why not give something? Is it love simply going on taking, 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 and no offering? We are taking from Krishna so much light, we are taking so much air, so much water, so many things Krishna is supplying for our subsistence, fruit, grain. Without supplied by Krishna, you cannot have. Uh, you cannot manufacture all these things. So you must admit that God is supplying us so many things. And uh, why not offer something? Is it love? Therefore, offering is required. Love means you take and you give also. Suppose you, if you love somebody, you simply take from him, but you don't give. Do you think it is very good? No. It is not good. That is not love. That is exploitation. If I go on simply taking from you, and if I don't offer you anything, that is simply exploitation. So love means you must take, you must give. Dadati pratiginati. Bhuntare bhunte bhojayate. You must eat and you must give to it. Simply don't go on eating, Krishna prasad. But give something to Krishna for eating. It is the system in India that if somebody is invited to take prasadam, he takes something, some fruit, some sweetness, something, and offers to it. Of course, that is distributed among the prasadam. But it is the system. When a man goes to see a saintly person or goes to a temple, he takes some fruit as far as he can acquire. So giving and taking, eating and uh, feeding, Dadati Prajinati Bhunti Bhujati Guyam Makati Prichatita Guyam Akati Prichati. You have to hear Bhagavad Gita and if you have got any distress, you have got any confidential thing, you have to submit to Krishna. Krishna I am in suffering this way. I am fallen in this tossing ocean of material illusion. Kindly send me. I can understand now that I have no identification with this material world. I am simply put here, just like if I am put into the Atlantic Ocean. I have no identification with the ocean, but I am subjected to the tossing waves of the ocean. Similarly, we are spiritual part, fragmental part of Krishna. Somewhere other we put into this material ocean, and there is tossing. So I am being taught. Don't identify, don't try to solve the tossing. That is not possible. If you want to make solution of the tossing waves of the Atlantic Ocean when you have fallen there, it is useless, foolishness. That is not possible. Don't be <laughs> foolish in that way. That will go off. That is Atlantic Ocean's nature. You cannot stop it. You have to get out of it. The foolish people, they are trying to adjust this world and be happy. So that is a first class foolish. They will be They will never be able to make a solution of this material world. Do not accept this principle of Krishna's consciousness. The result is that they do not go back to Godhead, but remain in this material world for continuous struggle for existence. Dharma Sitriti Imang bhakti lakshanam dharma. This Krishna consciousness is also a principle of religion. Religion, religion means which has connection with God. Without any connection with God, that is not accepted as religion. Religion generally understood searching after God, understanding about God, relationship with God. This is religion. Atheism is not religion. Atheism is not religion. Religion means, so this is Krishna consciousness because persons who are acting for transcendental loving service of the Supreme Lord, they are called Krishna conscious. So it has connection with God. Therefore it is religion. Dharma. And how a religion is accepted, religion accepted some authorized source, just like Vedic religion, by religion, because they have got source from authority. 
सुति प्रमाण सुति प्रमाण रिलीजन यू कैन नॉट मैन्युफैक्चर रिलीजन इट मस्ट बी अकॉर्डिंग टू दी वेदिक रूल्स और ऑथराइज स्क्रिप्चर इन श्रीमद भागवतम इट इज सेट धर्मम तो साक्षात भगवत प्रणीत धर्म रिलीजन मीन इट इज द लॉ ऑफ गॉड जस्ट लाइक स्टेट लॉज यू कैनॉट मैन्युफैक्चर एनी लॉ If you make some bylaws, just like for your society, you make some bylaws that is to be sanctioned by the uh, society registration and the religious uh, regulation as we have registered. Uh, but you cannot make any law without any sanction. Similarly, dharma to saksha bhagavat pranitam. If you want to create some principle of religion, then it must be sanctioned by the Vedic authority. So, this Bhagavad Gita is also religion. It is accepted by authorities, great authorities, just like Ramanu Charja, Madhya Charja, Vishnu Shami. And Lord Jaitanya, all authorities of India, Sankara Charya, those who are accepted as the religious heads of Indian culture, all of them accepted this Bhagavad Gita as principle of religion, and Krishna, the supreme personality of Godhead. So there is no doubt about it. And so far, outsiders. They also take this book as a book of authority, book of knowledge, and they have a study, very serious study of this book. They write some commentary, great scholars, great philosophers. So it is also a dharma. But there are persons, in spite of his acceptance by the acharyas and scholars, they have no faith. They do not think that it is a book of authority or book of knowledge. After the dharma, they have no faith. They think that it is simply aggravating or exaggeration of a person who is known as Krishna and his principle. So therefore, they have no faith. Guruva Shastena Tam Gunnata Suti Matra Meva. Suti Matra means it is simply praising some principle. That's all. In this way, it is not accepted by everyone. Krishna points out then, as Sudha Dhana Purusha, Dharma, Dharma Sha Asha, this brings some principle of religion. Those who do not accept it as authority, so the result is that they can never have any connection directly with Krishna. And as such, a prapama, because they do not have any access to Krishna, Therefore, nivatante they remain. Nivatante uh, means remain. Where does do they remain? Mitto samasaro, mitto samasaro vatmani. This line, <coughs> but death, but death, but but when he means this line, but death, but and that but death does not mean that next birth he will have similar facilities or similar life human being. No, but that means you have risk also. Uh, you can get your next birth, not exactly a human being, you, uh, not exactly in America or not exactly in India, or uh, you may be transferred to any other country or any other planet or any other species of life. There is no certainty. That will depend according to your want. So this is called the path of birth and death. Mrtu samsara bhatman. Have your birth, remain for some time, enjoy or suffer, then again give up this body and enter into the womb of another mother, human being or animal, then prepare your another body and then come out, then begin your work. This is called mrtu samsara bhatman. If anyone wants to avoid this path of birth and death, this risk, then they must take to these Krishna consciousness. 
It is not my version, the Lord says himself. If you want to study Bhagavad Gita seriously, then here is a point. Here is a point. If you read Bhagavad Gita as a matter of relaxation, that is different thing. But if you want to check benefit out of Bhagavad Gita, this instruction is very much important. Aprapamal nivartante mittu saṅsāra vatmani. Mittu saṅsāra means this path of regularly as we are passing on. Ahannaham nilukāni gacchanti jamamandiram sīsā sitam ichchanti kimāsya jammatattaram. Yudhisthi Maharaj, he was asked, what is the most wonderful thing in the world? He replied, he was very learned king. Yes, the most wonderful thing in the world. We have heard seven wonderful things in the world. So, Jyotishri Mana said, Ahanahani Lokani Gachanti Jamamandri. Ahani Ahani means daily, every day, every moment. At least every day we see so many death leaves. If we go to the crematorium ground, we can see. So, Ahanahani Lokani Gachanti Jamamandri. But those who are still alive, they think, oh, death will not take place. I live. I live. You are also subjected to this principle of dying, but he does not take it seriously. This is called illusion. Maya. He thinks that I shall live forever. Therefore, let me do whatever I like. There is no question of responsibility. This is very risky life, very risky life, and this is the most covering part of illusion. One should be very serious, but death is waiting, as sure as death. If there is any surety in this world, that is death. Nobody can avoid it. And when there is death, oh, there is no more intelligence, no more, you have popped up philosophy, you are under the grip of nature. Prakriti, prakriti kramana, ignai karmanta, that at that time you are not this stout uh, and strong body that you don't care for anything. Then you are that smallest fragmental force. And so you are just under the material atmosphere. So under the mercy of the material nature. And that material nature will give you some kind of body for which you are fit. Then again, begin your work. This is the position. If we want to take that risk, then go on, Krishna says. That if you want to avoid this risk, then take Krishna. There is no alternative. Asadva dhana purusha dhanma shasa paranta ho aprato maang nivartanti mithu samishara vatmani. This is mithu samishara vatmani. Then he says, what is this material world? Maya, you should notice that this ninth chapter of the Bhagavad Gita is specially meant for the devotees. Especially meant for the devotees, those who have accepted Krishna as the Supreme Personality of God. Otherwise, it will appear something else. It is confidential. Because in the beginning it has been said that Raja Vidya Raja Bhuyam, it is very confidential, the most confidential part of knowledge of the Bhagavad Gita. Unless one accepts Krishna as the Supreme Personality of God, it will be difficult. They will think, oh, why? If Krishna, if I do not accept Krishna, then why there is so much risk? Oh, this is all exaggeration. But actually it's not. Therefore, this Raja Vidya, the most confidential part of this knowledge means that one who has accepted Krishna as a Supreme and has become a devotee, has engaged himself in his service, actually, seriously, for them. Raja Vidya, most confidential. Maya tatamidam sadvam jagat abhaktam utina. Mastani, Sadhutani, 
नीषु अवस्थिता न कृष्ण से दिस वर्ड वॉट यू सी दिस इज ऑल्सो माय एनर्जी माया माया मीन्स बाय मी जस्ट लाइक इफ आई से दिस वर्क हैज बीन डन बाय मी तो दैट डज नॉट मीन दैट देर इज नो एक्जिस्टेंस ऑफ मी एंड यू बिकॉज आई हैव डन दिस वर्क सो आई एम फिनिश Here it is called by me, Maya. Maya means by by me. Anything you do, it is done by you. Anything done by me, it is done by me. But that when I finish the work, suppose I start a business, very nice business, very profitable business, big factory, and if I say that this factory. He started and is conducted by me. Does it mean that I am lost? Does it mean I am lost? No, I am there. But it is done by my energy. Ah, huh. this big factory, just like the Ford factory I have seen in your country, a very big factory. There are so many big factories. If the proprietor says it is done by me. That done by me, that person is at this. Although the fact is also at this, it does not mean because he has started that factory, big factory, he is finished. His existence is not there. Similarly, Krishna says that this, whatever this wall you see, it is done by me. But does it mean that he becomes? No more. It is very simple. Why God should be impersonal? Just take the same example. He some very good business man says it is done by me. It is to be understood that by his brain, by his energy, <coughs> by his capital, by his uh, intelligence, he has done all this. But he remains. It is very simple. Similarly, it is said here. मया तथमिदम सर्व जगत अवक्त में दिस वर्ड दिस मेटीरियल वर्ड इज यू वॉन्ट टू सी गॉड गॉड इज एवरी वेर बिकॉज इट इज ही इज एन एच इट इज ही इज एन एच जस्ट लाइक इन फोर्ड फैक्ट्री दे वर्क आर दे सी इन एवरी कॉर्नर मिस्टर फोर्ड इन एवरी कॉर्नर ऑफ दिस एक्ट सिमिलरली दो स्वर कॉन्वर्सन विद दिस साइंस That what is this material world? They can see in every atom the supreme Lord Krishna. It is simply question of knowledge. So who has made it? Be confident that Krishna has made it. Then I can feel Krishna's presence everywhere. Therefore, everything rests in Krishna. Everything rests in Krishna. Maya tatamidang sadbam jagat abhakta murti na. Masani sarvabhutani, everything is resting on me. Nasa ham teshu avasthita, but I am not there. I am not there. If you think this temple is resting in Krishna, therefore Krishna must be here. But Krishna says, then I am not there. I am not there. The same thing because. Krishna and Krishna's energy is non-different. Still, energy is not Krishna. Just like the sun and the sun sign, there is no difference. But the sun sign is not the sun. If sun sign is present in your room, ah, through the holes of your windows. Do you think the sun is also within your room? No. If sun becomes within room, then he will not exist. If it is so, it is arbitrary that uh, you cannot exist. Therefore, it is sufficient that sun ray is there. Similarly, whatever we see, parasya brahmana sakti. It is very nicely explained in Vishnu Purana. Parasya. ब्रह्मणा शक्ति 
Parashtami, the Supreme Brahmana, man with the Absolute Truth, it is his energy. It is his energy. Just like the sun is shining all over the universe from one place, similarly, Krishna, Allah, he is just like a person like you and me, but his energy is acting everything. This is explaining Bhagavad Gita. Maya tatamidam sadmam jagat abhakta murti na. This is abhakta murti. In the energy you cannot find Krishna in his person. Just like in the sunshine you cannot find the sun god. But the sun god is there in the sun planet. Sun this you cannot say no because we have no experience of the sun this. But we can understand from books of authorities like Veda, there is sun god. Because as Krishna said, we have read in the fourth chapter, Yam vivasati yuvam pratvanaham abhyam vivasan manavitraha manavikata vipravi. I, first of all I said this Bhagavad Gita to sun god, vivasan. Vivasan means the, sun, the present sun god is called vivasan. His name is Vivasa. Just like there are many kings, there are many sun gods, also. they also change. Because there is death. There is death. They may be living for so many hundreds and millions of years that there is death. The present sun god who is existing there, his name is also there in the Bhagavad Gita. Vivasa. If you believe Bhagavad Gita, then you have to believe. That there is a sun god whose name is Vivasan. If you don't believe, then why you take so much trouble to read Bhagavad Gita? If you have no faith in it, then what is the use of reading? And if you have faith in it, then you have to believe. So there is sun god. In every planet there is a predominating feature. So similarly, over and above all of them. Ishara Parama Krishna, the Brahma Sangita says. And everywhere you will find a Ishara. Ishara means controller. In your New York City, Mr. Lindsay is the controller. In New York State, Mr. Rockefeller, he is controller. In your United States, Mr. Johnson is the controller. Finish. Then go to another state. And similarly, in every planet, every place there is a controller. So sun god is the controller of the sun planet. You cannot imagine that there is no controller, it is vacant place. If in a New York City there is no vacant place, every place is valuable, it is occupied. How can you think of that God's kingdom, so many planets, so many people are vacant? No, nothing vacant. Sarvada, everywhere there are living entities, but there are different kinds of entities. Not exactly like you. So, all this manifestation that we see, this is all energy. That in the seventh chapter we have already discussed. There are two kinds of energies of Krishna. One is spiritual energy and one is material energy. Jiva, the living entity, is there also spiritual energy, but because they are sometimes entrapped by this material energy. They are prone to be attracted by the material energy. Therefore they are called marginal energy. Otherwise there are two energies only, spiritual energy and material energy. This material world is material energy and we, this path of Krishna, we are spiritual energy. So this energy, just like the fire, just like the lamp, it is in localized in one place, but its light and uh, heat is diffused similarly. Parasa Brahmana Shakti Sarvam Akilam Jada. Akilam Jada. Akilam means the whole universe, whole and manifestation. They are all simply manifestation of the Supreme Law. The Lord says that. Oh, one who believes Krishna as the Supreme Law, they believe. He says, Mathani Sarvahuta. Just like in the sun sign, many planets they are resting. It is a scientific fact. All the planets they are rotating due to the sun heat. 
there is a machine what is called, we are saying. As soon as there is heat within, the ball begins to rotate. So everything is resting. The weightlessness is due to the sun sign. Due to the sun sign. Similarly, everything, the sun, the universe, everything is resting on Krishna sign. Krishna sign. That is the uh, answer. How so many worlds are floating in the air? That because they are under the Krishna's energy. They are floating in the Krishna's energy. Samasthani, Sarvabhutani, everything is resting on me. But don't think that I am finished uh, because you cannot see there. I am here. Nataham Tesu Avastita, it is not necessarily we have to see everywhere. Atasha Bhakti Uddhipatam Adhutam Vaisadya Maha. No, the transcendental nature of God, all potential nature of God, to a devotee, it will give pleasure. And to a non-devotee, it is seeming like so many blasts is being spoken by Krishna. As soon as I become a non-devotee, I think all these dead men as blasts given by Krishna. And as soon as I am a devotee, oh, I think, oh, my Lord is so powerful. They become full with love and adoration. That is the difference. One who believes, he becomes fastest with pleasure. Oh, my Lord is so far. And those who do not believe, I say, oh, it is simply blessing. Krishna is a person driving the chariot of a John, and he says, they are imitating. There are so many yogis who say, oh, the sun, moon, and everything is floating in me. They think that Krishna can say like that, I am also Krishna, I am also God, so I can also say like that. But Krishna can say the uh, universal form, to will you please show me the No, that I cannot. Oh, Krishna lifted the hill in seven years so Can you lift a one month or hundred pounds with your finger? No, oh, that I cannot. That is the difference between the imitation God and the other God. Because Krishna is saying, Therefore, I shall imitate and say. And because Krishna performed Rasvila, Krishna married sixteen thousand wives. Can you marry one and keep her very nicely in a palace? Well, that I cannot do. Then how can you be Krishna? Krishna said so many things wonderful and he acted also wonderful. If you believe one thing and do not believe another thing, then it is called Ardhakukkutina. Ardhakukkutina. You cannot believe. Ha! If you believe, you believe full. So, for a devotee, these informations of Krishna become so, my Krishna is so long. Oh, my God is so powerful. I think sometimes I recited one story. This is for very instructive that Narad Muni, uh, he used to visit Narayan every day. So when he was passing on the road, so one very learned Brahmin and taking thrice bath and everything very nicely, he asked Narad Muni, Oh, you are going to Lord, hey, will you inquire when I shall get my salvation? All right, I shall ask. And then another cobbler, he was under the tree, seeing the shoes, old shoes. He also saw Narad Muni, he also inquired, Will you kindly inquire some thought, find my salvation? Then when he inquired, Krishna, Narayan, Narad Muni goes generally to Narayan in another planet. So he has two, one Brahmin and one cobbler, they inquired like this, May I know what is their destination? So Narayan said, well, he has a cobbler, this, after giving up this body, he is coming here and boycott. And what about that Brahmi? Oh, he has to remain there still. So many, that, I do not know when he is coming. 
Well, Narad Muni was astonished that I saw that is very nice Rani and he is a cobbler, how is that? So he inquired, then I could, uh, cannot understand the mystery, why you say that Prabhupada is coming this, after this body, and why not this Brahmin? Oh, that we, you will understand. If they inquire that what Krishna or Narayana was doing in the, uh, in his, um, above, so just uh, explain that he was taking one elephant through the hole of a needle, he is pulling an elephant this side and this side. So when he again approached the Brahmin, the Brahmin said, Oh, we have seen a lot yet. So what was you are doing? You are seeing this to the point of a needle. You are pushing on elephant this way. Right? Oh, therefore I have no faith in your God. We don't believe all this nonsense. Then Narada could understand this man has no faith. He simply reads book. That's all. And when he went to the cobbler, he also, oh, you have seen what Narayan was doing. I have said that he was doing like this. Oh, he began to cry. Oh, my Lord is wonderful. Oh, he can do anything. So Narayan quiet. So, do you believe that uh, Lord can push one elephant to the holes of a needle? Uh, oh, why not? I must believe. What? Then, what is your reason? Oh, my reason. I am sitting under this banyan tree, and so many fruits are falling daily, and in each fruit there are thousands of seeds, and each seed there is a tree. Each small seed there can be big tree like that. Is it very impossible uh, to accept? That Krishna is putting one elephant through the holes of a needle. He has kept such a nice tree in the sea. So this is called belief. Unbelievers and believers means the believers, they are not blind believers. They are reason. Uh, if by Krishna's process, by God's process and nature's process, such a big tree can be put Feeding the small seed, it is very impossible for Krishna to keep all these planets floating in his energy. So we have to believe. We are not very astonished, but we have to understand in this way. Our reasoning, our argument, our logic should go in this way. So those who are devotees, just like the cobbler, he may be a cobbler, they believe everything. And those who are not devotees, they will say, oh, these are all bluff. These are all bluff. But they are not bluff. It is simply meant for the devotees. They can understand. The non-devotees, they cannot understand. Yes. Thank you very much.